Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video we're going to be talking about LibreOffice Calc, specifically the table nature of the spreadsheets that we are working with inside of the program. So, uh, as you probably already know, inside of LibreOffice we have sheets, and these sheets are simply a series of columns and rows uh, containing cells where each column and row intersects, and using these cells we can form uh, which generally referred to as a table in computing. So with this table, uh, it's just like if you made a, a spreadsheet on paper. We have columns, including the column header for the uh, basically the name of the column. So I have first name right here, last name, position, and date hired. And then on the following rows, we have uh, basically each item in that column or in the table. So we have uh, basically the first person here Tom next row another person another person and another person and here we're gonna show you some uh, basic tips for how you can use these spreadsheets uh, as a table and perform some basic table operations specifically in this video we're gonna be talking about inserting rows and columns deleting rows and columns and sorting columns uh, by alphabetical or number order so to start, uh, you might want to actually insert a new row into your table or your spreadsheet. Uh, not because there's not extra rows or columns already. It goes to 1,024 columns and a ridiculous number of rows by default. But the problem is you might want to insert data between some of your rows. Imagine you went down to 20, but you wanted to add one on row 10. Well, what you can do is right click on one of the rows uh, the left of them and hit insert rows above insert rows below uh, also just selecting a row and going up here on the main toolbar is another option but i'll do it by right clicking on the row name right there so insert row above means that it will move every other row down and then this blank row will appear right there so say that we also wanted to add a new column between b and c it's the same basic idea right click on a column and uh, either uh, use the drop down menu to insert columns to the right or use their main toolbar uh, buttons for the same thing so now we could start filling in this column with new data uh, for instance another one we might want to add is salary uh, this is kind of looking like an employee uh, kind of database or table so maybe he makes 500 she makes a thousand he makes two thousand and she makes three thousand of, of whatever currency you want to have as we talked about in previous videos we could just take these cells and format them as a currency which does make a lot of sense here uh, just arbitrary values once again and if we want to type in this new person we could do that just as easily as filling in the salary column in order to delete rows and columns it's the same basic principle right click on a row or a column and go to delete columns or likewise select the row and go to delete rows and it will remove all of the content in that row moving what's below it up and uh, you can continue as normal one of the main advantages of using a cell based table is that you can take the data from each individual cell and have a program like LibreOffice Calc automatically compare it. For instance, we could sort the salary column by uh, the number located within, or we could sort the last name by the name in alphabetical order, or reverse alphabetical order anyway. So what we can do is select a column that we want to sort all of this data by, go to sort ascending or sort descending and when you click that it may pop up with this sort range saying what it's going to currently sort as you can see because there was a blank row uh, on line three we're going to need to hit extend selection and what we're going to want to extend that to is a2 to a5 and we'll go ahead and hit sort ascending again as you can see, when we have a group of columns like this selected, it's going to sort based on the first one. But we don't have to do that. If we instead hit sort, we can specify which column is going to be the sort key. So if we wanted to sort by last name, we would select column B as the column it's going to sort, ascending or descending, and hit OK. And as you can see, it's now going alphabetical order with the last name 
starting Crystal, S for San Diego, and T for Tucker. Dates also work just fine with this, so let's do a sort by date by selecting column E. As you can see now, it's going by month and day, so January into March into December for the same year means it's sorted by uh, the date in which they were hired. One more basic thing I want to touch on here is sometimes a column is not wide enough to contain all of the data that you type into it. You can see here in D3 and D4 that there is this little red arrow over here to the right, and that's because... Um, the actual information in there is longer than the column width allows. So in order to correct this, the simplest way is to go up here on the border between D and E and stretch it to a longer length. And we can keep going until it covers all of the data that's contained within. Now in this case, the column is a little bit wider than it needs to be. So what we can actually do as a way to perfect this or a quicker way of adjusting the column width is to right click on the column ladder and go to optimal column width. Here it's going to ask you how much extra space you want in the column based on where the longest element is going to end. And we can hit OK there. So now it adds 0.1 inch to the length of fashion designer and we have a properly uh, formatted column. So that's the basics of row and column manipulation as well as sorting within LibreOffice Calc. I hope that this lesson helps you out a bit. I've been Chris. Thank you for watching. If you'd like, you can donate to my Patreon in the link below, and I'll see you in my next video.